The IHF really is what we see here, 70 countries coming together and making vital decisions and setting the stage for hockey, international hockey going forward. So this is really the forum where the big decisions are being made, not in Zurich. So first of all, it's uh, all the information I got from the IHF. Second one is to meet everybody from the other countries, to speak about our tournaments, to speak about the IHF breaks, to meet my, uh, the other people from other countries, they do the same as I do. So that's a good opportunity to speak with them. At the end of the day, you find good decision if you talk to each other and you find a solution. I just had a meeting, I'm just coming out of it, on a particular issue for the World Championship 2012. Both organizers are here, something which would have taken a week or two or three in the office to solve here, you solve it in half an hour. Yes, I think it's not different than in other political parliament, you know, the, the, the big decisions are not made in the, in the Congress room or the parliament. in the parliament, they are made outside in the corridors. and allows time for everybody to express their views, even though he might well know where he wants it to end up. But the fact that he lets everybody in on the discussion is, uh, is gainful for the IHF because everyone feels part of the solution by reason of having been heard. You know, nobody's perfect. I'm, I'm Swiss, actually, you know, and, and we Swiss, we are used as we have four different languages in our country. We have different culture. We always try to find a compromise. But that is a typical word to say that the Swiss compromise, you know, that everybody can, can speak and everybody can uh, put the problem on the table. And I'm also a um, former referee. Uh, I, I try to follow the rules and try to, to, to give everybody the same, the, the, the same chance. And, and respect for me is very important. I also respect a, a smaller country. If it's uh, Luxembourg or Kyrgyzstan or, or Hong Kong or Taipei, uh, to, to regards to Canada and Sweden, I think everybody can speak and, and, uh, and, uh, and speak about their problems they have. And the biggest thing is, because we're, we're classified as a development nation, we're looking for all programs that we may be able to implement that will make our players better players, better coaches, better officials. We have lots of needs um, right the way across the board, from, from coaching to refereeing, um, as well as uh, the players' requirements, medical and what have you, and then all those other uh, playing nations have got far more experience than us and, 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 and all we have to do is to ask the questions and, and uh, everyone seems to be very helpful in giving that information to us. But I have to say that we have a, a very friendly atmosphere in our, in our federation, in our congress. Sometimes it's like in a hockey game, you know, you get, get in the corner, you have to sometimes uh, fight a little bit and uh, the elbows are a little bit high. But I would say in general it's, uh, it's, it's always done in a very positive way and uh, uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be president of this federation because uh, people are, uh, are working uh, with, with, with passion and with, with especially great love for the game.